Hi, today we are going to see how Juno's operating system and Ansible can work together to automate certain tasks. There are three common co customer automation needs, and one of them is provisioning. To do this, we are going to execute an Ansible playbook that will connect to my Juno's device, add a new user, and then commit the changes. I have already written the playbook, but let's review it. My playbook is called commit.yaml. And as we can see, the very first line is the name. Here I have named it to be commit because that is the goal of this playbook. Next, we have the hosts. In a separate inventory file, I define junos-ssh to be the IP address of the device I am going to be connecting to. Next, we set connection to local. This is a mandatory field for any Junos and Ansible running playbook. Next, we have the rules. This just defines any directory that is not included in Ansible. Since we are running Junos modules, we have to include juniper.junos directory. Then we have the vars prompt. This is just any user inputted field. So for example, in order to connect to my device, I need to input a username and a password. And that is exactly that. Then we have the tasks. Here we are going to be running two Junos modules. The first one is Junos install config and I have named it to push two set commands to the configuration file. Junos install config takes in the host, which is the inventory host name, the username of the device, the password of the device. Then I specify it to not replace any lines of the configuration file, not to overwrite any lines, and I give it five minutes to confirm that the configuration file has been changed. Lastly, we have the file, which we will go over after. New user .set just has the two set commands I'm going to be pushing to my device. The next task is Juno's commit, and here I have named it to confirm the commit. Uh, Juno's commit takes in a host, which again is inventory host name, the username and password of my device, and lastly, it just has a comment. If the playbook succeeds, I have it print out commit confirmed. Let's check out new user dot set. So here we see that I have a new user, nshadmin, and nshadmin has an encrypted password as so. Then we set nshadmin to be in the super user class. Now let's see what happens when I run this Ansible playbook. To run any Ansible playbook, all you have to do is type in ansible-playbook-i, then, the uh, then the name of your host file, which mine is all.inv, and then the playbook itself, and then mine is called commit.yaml. Then I type in the username of the device and the password. Here it is running the first task, which is just to push the two set commands. We see that it has succeeded. Now it's confirming the changes. Here we see that it has indeed changed, which means that there are two new set commands being pushed to the device. Both tasks succeeded and nothing failed, which is exactly what we were hoping to get. So that is it for this video. For more information, be sure to check out Juniper's GitHub site. Thank you.